All right, y'all. Sorry about that. Quick, uh, we had a quick lapse in service. Uh, we are experiencing some really bad storms down here in Central Florida right now. Again, um, if, you, if you haven't been keeping up with the show, uh, I'm, I'm on uh, vacation down here. Let me know, Lucas, if that uh, loose wire crackle sound has gone away. Um, I have switched microphones. Let me know how that goes. Uh, okay, Curtis. Um, uh, yeah. I, I don't know where we lost them at, so why don't you... Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll re rewind a little bit. Yeah. Um, so obviously everybody saw the post today about the two events being canceled. Um, the big obvious one was the Shock the Rocks event. That was when the bouncers were supposed to come. Uh, unfortunately, that one got canceled. Um, but the one that was coming weekend was Saturday and Sunday. Um, Saturday, we are hosting a or I should just say, I am hosting a race there. Uh, it'll be our fifth race for the season. Um, but unfortunately, the whole event got canceled. Just wanted to let everybody know that we are still racing. Um, fortunately, the governor put a mandate of under 100 people, so that's 99 or under. Um, I don't see it being anywhere near that, so we're in the clear. Um, we are still racing. Schedule is still going exactly as planned, still exactly as posted. Nothing has changed as far as the RC bouncer event at Mount Mud Run. Um, unfortunately, all the one-on-one -on -one racing, all the mud events, and the bike across, and all that stuff will not be happening. But that just means that we have free run of a acre park to ourselves once again. Just yeah, just time. just like we did uh, earlier this summer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Mid June, uh, we had free reign of Mountain Mud Run because the same exact situation and the event got canceled, and uh, we ended up being the only ones there. So it, I mean, it kind of works out in our favor, but it also kind of sucks because I know everybody else, including me, I was kind of looking forward to seeing some horsepower. Yeah. Uh, yep. I mean, not much yep. you can do about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let let's be clear that it is not a uh, the the problem is with the government mandated numbers that they're saying that companies are are you know are are not going to allow you know you're not going to allow that many people to be in one place at one time. Mm -hmm. Big scheduled events, obviously, that's going to be pretty big. Yeah. And Shop the Rocks would have been even bigger. So, absolutely. Unfortunately, we really have a choice. Yeah. 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 No, that that's uh, that's definitely not something that we want them to play with and uh, you know try to try to fight. I, you know, I have a lot of respect for John and and Brenda. They do so much for us. Uh, they they have stepped be gotten behind your race series uh, two thousand percent and it shows um, so definitely uh, you know definitely don't want them to um, take any more risks than they have to that's for sure mm -hmm. no I know why they did it but yeah it's still so. it it does no I, yeah I, absolutely you, you have my you have my support on this um, so. We, we talked about the schedule. Can you, uh, do you want to touch on, while I got you, you want to touch on the schedule, the hills? Yeah. What what can we expect at the park? How much is it going to cost me to park, to pay, to get in, to all that stuff? Can you go down? Yeah. Uh, so, gates open and still exactly the same as the previous schedule even though the one-on-one events aren't happening. Uh, main gate opens at 9 o'clock. Uh, our driver's meeting will be 10.30, and racing will start right after that. Um, actually, before I get into the hills, I know there was a lot of questions about parking. Um, I know, obviously, that changed drastically. Um, it's going to be exactly like June 20th. Uh, for when we had that race there. 
Um, you'll be able to pull up. Mind you, this is an off-road park. We are not in the same spot. Um, we're over by the mud pit this time. Um, so if you have a Jeep or a truck or something that's obviously not a car or a loaded truck or something like that, uh, you're welcome to drive right up to the hills, set up wherever you want. Um, for those that can't quite make it all the way up, I mean, it's really not that far. Um, the mud pits literally here, our race hills are right here. It's literally maybe a 50 to 100 foot walk. Um, you can pull right up to the bottom of the mud pit since nobody's going to be here. That would normally be where they have pit area and parking for the one-to-ones, but they're not here. So you guys are welcome to park there, set up down there, set up by the hills, pretty much wherever you want. Um, it'll be just like last time. I know we'll be at the main gate um, doing waivers and all that stuff. And, and she will direct you to where uh, I chose to set up hills this time. Anybody that's been there before, Nick knows, um, Rob, Derek, some of the guys that raced with us earlier this year and last year know the spot. It's the same spot that we normally would race in. Um, but obviously I changed things up a little bit. But before we get into the news, I'm talking a little bit about the entry fees. Um, I know there's some controversy about what was going on and entry fees because there's no one-to-ones and all that. And Brent was more than generous in working with us. Um, a lot of their stuff got canceled. That is a lot of money taken away from them. Already from previous events, they haven't really been able to have much. So being able to try to help them out is uh, the least we can do. Um, the entry fee will be exactly the same as last time. It will be $15. Uh, they are still providing food trucks. Or food. Yeah, they're still providing food. And uh, bathrooms will be available right on spot. So that's uh, the entry fee kind of helps them pay for the food that they bought and all the uh, port johns that they have available. Um, Let, I, so, hey, I mean, dude. That shouldn't be something that, I mean, for what they're charging to get in, it, it is uh, triple that at some parks so, for the weekend, yeah. or, you know what I mean, to go ride. So uh, I, 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 they absolutely deserve that. I mean, they, you know, uh, John and Brenda are a huge part of the sport, uh, and if, if y'all were coming to national races, man, you would be paying – at least double of every price that you've already said. So, uh, and, and and let me tell you this, I do this pretty much, I do this for a living now, okay? I get paid to go around the country and go to these events. And Mountain Mud Run and the stuff that Curtis is putting on is national level uh, worthy. It is absolutely, it is absolutely on that level. So, don't get it twisted, y'all. You can enjoy it while it's small because uh, uh, as this yeah. series grows and as Mount Mud Run Park grows uh, I can only see it getting more expensive so good yeah. good for them so the their entry fee to get in the park will be $15 uh, if you decide to bring a ATV, TV, dirt bike whatever, any your Jeep truck, if you want to use it you Definitely plan on using the trails. It'll be twenty dollars instead of fifteen. Um, you have a forty-acre park you so desire. Um, the entry fee for our race is still the same in Dublin. Uh, it's fifteen, so it'll be thirty dollars for the weekend. And you can race, uh, hang out and offer the park. Um, going on to the hills. Uh, um, I knew a lot of the we did last time. Uh, I got a lot of good feedback on those. Everybody seemed to like them. Um, this is the last race before finals. Um, obviously, yes, we do. There is a little bit of confusion. Yes, we do have two races left, but. Finals is a little different. 
Uh, Nick knows from being to multiple ones. Uh, it's it's not quite a normal race. There's a lot going on, and uh, it's not a typical race because at the end, your winners get announced for the whole season. So yes, we do have two races left, but this is the last race before finals. Like I said, uh, just wanted to kind of clear that up. It's like a regular uh, season race, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's, this it's is our a, last game. right. Thank you. Yeah, it's a it's regular season, regular season race, and then finals is the championship. Is are you going to do four hills? How many hills are you going to do? Uh, I don't know, not yet, but yeah. yeah, I got some new material to work with today at work. So oh, sweet! That could come. Good deal. But uh, anyway, back to uh, this weekend. Uh, it'll be three hills. They're all up and downs. Um, one. It's a repeat hill. Uh, Nick, Rob, all the guys that have raced there before and have know the spot that I'm talking about. The first hill is a repeat. Um, I think Nick remembers that uh, nobody made that. Hill. Nobody made that hill. Nobody made that hill. We we should have done the the hills that year. We should have done in reverse yeah, of how it. we did them. Yeah. 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 But uh, anyway. So that'll be one of the hills. It is a uh, up and down and back up. Um, second hill is same thing, up and down. And third hill is up and down. I might uh, throw in an extra line for some extra points. Uh, going to Hawk Pride and watching Clyde do what he does and come up with some hill, hill ideas and different things to grab points for the drivers and stuff was pretty cool. Yep. Uh, definitely gave me some ideas, so you might see a, a bonus line for some extra points. Very cool. So uh, you never know, but there will be three hills. They're all up and down. Uh, they're a mix between rock and loose dirt, just like most of my hills. They're always kind of mixed up. Uh, yeah, if you guys, if there's any questions in the comments about anything. Yep, uh, got anybody uh, watching that's got any any comments or questions for uh, Curtis here? Um, Tyler Whitman says, love going to Mountain Mud Run. Never missed a rock bouncer event since it started, but unfortunately due to this stuff going around, hope next year goes better. I, I hear you, Tyler. It it's This year has just sucked <laughs> for that kind of stuff, yep. man. I am just so <laughs> over it, dude. <clears throat> but uh, we're, we're still getting out there and doing it. You know, Curtis is... Curtis could be cooped up in the house, man. He's got a family. He could be cooped up in the house right now, y'all, you know, uh, afraid uh, of his own shadow uh, of, of catching the COVID and, and uh, you know, bringing it home to his family. But he's out there doing the damn thing, y'all. So, you know, I, I, for one, am thankful for that, and I'm sure a lot of you guys uh, would, you know, would say the same. Well, um, so let, let's recap real quick here. Uh, I, I made a big deal about this post because – uh, it is a big deal. It is, um, you know, we, we saw the Pro Rock event get uh, canceled. That was supposed to be this weekend, I believe. That was down in Alabama, uh, and now we're seeing another race getting canceled uh, up in New Hampshire. So, you know, it's newsworthy as far as I'm concerned. That's why we're live right now. Um, and, and then Curtis uh, gave us a rundown of... Um, of uh, what's going on with his race, okay? And because the because he's not expecting not a hundred people or more, uh, he is able to still have his race because the RC Rock Bouncer series is, is just a little bit smaller, okay? So, um, I, I think that's a quick uh, recap. Just to be clear, Clyde from the National Rock Racing Association was live earlier today. Uh, he uh, redacted what I've been saying for the last couple of days. Um, you know, uh, we are absolutely racing in Kentucky, uh, not this weekend, but next weekend. So please, uh, you know, please, if you hear any rumors about it or anything like that, I will be out in front of you guys if it does get canceled. So uh, if, if you, um, you know, we are going racing, y'all. <laughs> so, uh, Russ Driscoll Jr. asked, whoever won between the managers at, at uh, Hawk Pride? 
That would be John. John. <laughs> by about 20 seconds. <laughs> He's a good driver. John is a very good driver. Yeah. I will say he let he did let me drive uh, his new Keller chassis. Yeah. Man, he's got that, that thing is dialed in. Yeah, yeah. That was, uh, that was yeah, I, I'm a fan, dude. I I'm a fan. I uh, I am I, I like my uh, I like my Keller chassis, and um, I I feel like I got two of the the best built chassis that, that you can buy right now that are complete. You know, with the standard and and uh, and uh, bow down and and. You know, I look forward to building my hoe bag chassis and my uh, B1B kit. I'm actually pretty much changing. I know I'm way off topic and I need to shut up, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty much uh, I'm pretty much sold on turning my B1B instead of making it a bomber, making it a, 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 a death metal garage bouncer. So I'm pretty sure that that's we're gonna we're gonna change direction on that here and uh, get with. Um, I'm gonna see uh, Jerry. In hot at uh, this next race, this next Northern Series race. So, uh, looking forward to talking to him about it. All right, um, I, I don't have any questions left. So, uh, with that, thank you so much, Curtis. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, we will be looking for your, uh, you know, all your updates, man. So keep us posted, okay? Uh, coverage from this race is Mad Ram. All right, look out for that. Yes, sir. That's right. All right, brother. I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, man. Have a good one. See you. All right, y'all. Uh, again, we're, we're going to be doing these little updates. Uh, I know that we don't have breaking news uh, like the national news or world news. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not CNN or, or Fox. <laughs> but uh, but um, when we do get these little updates, when this stuff does happen, um, uh, we're going to try to go live and bring you as much information as we can. If anything else comes of this um, event being canceled, same with uh, the event, the Pro Rock event this weekend, um, I will let y'all know. But thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, don't forget, tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, we're going to be going live with Mr. Charlie Brown, Jr., uh, a hard-charging rookie bouncer builder driver. So uh, join us for that, man. It's going to be uh, going to be a great episode. So thanks, everybody. Look forward to seeing all y'all soon.